Navigating the Possessive Maze Understanding the Possessive Case in English Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive into an essential part of the English language, the possessive case. This lesson is part of our Grammar Fundamentals series focusing on nouns and pronouns cases. You will not only learn what the possessive case is, but also understand how it differs from other noun cases. Let's get started. The possessive case is used in English to show ownership or relationship. We usually indicate it by adding an S to a singular noun or just an apostrophe to a plural noun that already ends in S. For example, John's book indicates that the book belongs to John. In case of a plural noun like dogs, we would say the dog's owner, which means the owner of the dogs. Before we delve into the differences, let's briefly revisit the other noun cases in English. The three major cases are nominative, objective, and possessive. The nominative case is used for subjects. For example, John throws the ball. The objective case is used for objects of verbs or prepositions. For example, John throws the ball to Jane. The main difference between the possessive case and other noun cases is its unique role in showing ownership or relationship. In the nominative and objective cases, nouns or pronouns are used to perform an action or receive an action, respectively. For example, in John throws the ball, John is in the nominative case, and ball is in the objective case. On the other hand, the possessive case doesn't typically involve an action. Instead, it shows a possession or a relationship. For instance, in John's ball is red, John's is in the possessive case, showing that the ball belongs to John. And that's it. We've successfully navigated the maze of the possessive case. This case is vital in expressing relationships and ownership, setting it apart from the nominative and objective cases. We hope this lesson helps clear up any confusion between these noun cases. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master them all. Until our next grammar journey, happy learning!